Good day, everybody. It is I, George, the Philly guy. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I have another unboxing video for you to view. Today, we're going to take a look at the DJI Osmo 3. Now, when I ordered this, I ordered it on Amazon. They had uh, several different packages available. They had the uh, DJI by itself, priced at, I think it was like 119 I opt for the bundle package. That's several to choose from. Um, this ran me 139. So we're gonna go ahead and dig into this box and I'll uh, show you what it came with. First off, we have the Osmo Mobile 3. I did peel the plastic off so we could speed things up with this video. All right, so starting off with it is a sling backpack uh, for drones and cameras. So it's a camera and drone bag. Not bad. A lot of different compartments in here. Pretty roomy. Just for camera gear. If you have a lot of camera gear, this might work for you. I'm digging in the box one more time for the Ultimax. It is the 12 inch Gripster. All right. This is the kind that you could uh, fold up and wrap it around stuff and heavy duty. Not bad. All right, and what do we have here? The Ultimax microfiber cloth. All right. Um, and now for the Osmo. All righty, so it comes with Nice case. And it has the Osmo. And we have another box. Assuming this has the USB C charger. All right, it's got these little grips that you can put on your handle, right along your handle here. And we have a little tripod or stand for the Osmo. We have one wristband, wrist strap. First, last but not least, we have a little Osmo bag to store your Osmo. All right, so that is that. That comes everything inside this box here. Now, I do know that I have to download an app. I know I have to set the gimbal up. So while I'm doing all of that, um, that may take me a few minutes. So stand by, let me take care of all of that now and I'll get back to you in a few minutes. Okay, we're back. A few things I had to take care of on my end. I had to charge up the Osmo. I had to register it. 
I had to sync it to my smartphone, and I had to download the DJI Mimo app. This app you're going to need to operate your Osmo. Now, before we get started, when I made this purchase, I had questions. Will my iPhone 11 Pro Max in case fit into the Osmo? I have a case, it's nothing fancy, it's not thick. However, it does protect my iPhone. So to answer your question, will it fit into the Osmo with the case? Yes and no. When it's in the cradle with the case, it does not have a secure fit. It's held in, it does rotate, it does tilt. However, one little bump or tilt the wrong way, your phone could get ejected out of the cradle. For best results, if you like your iPhone, take it out of the take it out of the case. It fits much better into the Osmo. It's a whole lot more secure than if you were to have it in the case. So let's get back to the Osmo. So we do have the tripod attached to the bottom. Now here's what your unit's going to look like. Once you balance your phone, then you're ready for action. First thing you want to do is fire up your DJI Mimo app. Okay, now that we're fired up, let's go ahead and Turn on the Osmo. By doing so, just hold the power button. And there she goes. We're ready for business. Let me show you the control panel. You got your joystick. That'll give you some tilt action. Side to side action. Now if you want to go from landscape mode to portrait mode, Give a double click. And if you want to go back to its original setting, right in the front, you have a trigger. So let's double click on that trigger and she'll bring it home for you. Now, if you want to go from uh, the front facing camera to the rear facing camera, the same trigger, hit it three times. And there you go. Now, I do want to show you something. This is pretty cool. Hand gestures. So you want to go turn that on. Now from far away here, if you want to start recording or just take a photo, give it a hand gesture. And we're recording. Stop recording. Just hit the record button. This will also take your photos as well. So another cool feature I want to show you. Let us do facial recognition. This is pretty cool. So what I'm going to do here is Turn off the hand gestures, crop out my face by doing so. Just make a little box around your face. Now what we're going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and set the Osmo down on the desk here. And I will grab you guys and we're going to stand up here. And we will show you the Osmo. All right. Now if I scooch down. That's pretty cool. And yes, behind me, in case you're ever wondering why I don't show the other door, there is a dryer in my office. The facial recognition is pretty cool. And as I said, if I wanted to take a photo or a video, if I had the, uh, the gesture 
feature applied. All I would just have to do is just give it a gesture and she would take the photo or start the video. So that's a pretty cool feature. I like that. I like that a lot. So we're going to go ahead and grab my chair over here, sit back down. So as I said, I went out of focus, but we're good to go here. Give it a double click and I'm home. Again, if I want to rotate the uh, front facing camera to the rear facing camera, one, two, three, and there you go. So I'm looking forward to using this Osmo and uh, making future videos, but for now, that's all I got for you guys. So if you are a subscriber, turn on your bell notifications for future videos. If you're new to the channel, down below, hit that subscribe button right now and turn on the bell notifications. By doing so, you also will be notified of all future uploads that I post on this channel. If you like this particular video, give me a thumbs up. And uh, once again, I thank you guys for hanging out. I am George the Philly Guy. I'll see you guys in the next video.